Hey guys, the Kentucky Atheist here. I was wanting to do a video about comments for you guys a few days ago when we reached 100 subscribers, but since then I'm at 260 some subscribers, so I held off for a few days, gathered a few more comments, and I think it worked out better for the video. But let's go ahead and take a look. From Tidy Ho, Bo, there are two kinds of Christians, one that practices what Jesus taught and one that doesn't. These guys are what Jesus warned us about. Beware, for many will come in Jesus' name and deceive many. Can you not say God's name in vain, please? Thank you. Now, I've already addressed this with this person, but please don't come to my channel and tell me what I can and can't say. I'm within YouTube's community guidelines. There shouldn't be a problem. If you don't like it, go elsewhere. Otherwise, I'd love to have you. Now, aside from that, they set up a false dichotomy here of saying there's two kinds of Christians. And that's not true. There's thousands of kinds of denominations alone. And then you have millions of people who say they believe the way they want to believe and whatever. Um, the Bible's strictly up for interpretation, so that's why you have the problems you have. Moving on. Merv Barnes, GR6YK. Atheism, proving once more they don't know what they're talking about. This was posted on my video about televangelists, I think. I'm not sure why they said this. Um, I guess they think that I just started a YouTube channel and I make videos without knowing anything about what I'm saying. Uh, Merv, I, I challenge you to, to come talk to me and we'll find out who knows what's what. Moving on. This is one of my favorite comments I've gotten on any of the videos. Pig ignorant hocus pocus focused motherfucking sister raping fucking gobshots. Ken Kaffer 5957. Ken, you have a wonderful way with words, and I thank you for your comment. Alright, so not all comments are fun. Some of them are a little crazy, and this one's crazy. It's from Marlon F. V3RJ and I'm going to take it line by line and explain it as I go. Scam dots don't can cancel the fact that there are real dots. That's true. It's the scam ones that are fake and in the video this was on the one about televangelists I was saying they are being fake. They're not healing people. They're, they're taking people's money and promising them supernatural checks and and things like that for nothing. So it's a scam, yes. Calling others who experience something as fakes, I'm not certain of that. Marlon, I think there's a lot you're probably not certain of, but I'm not saying their experiences are fake. I'm saying that they're being sold on a fake premise. Whatever they feel, they feel, but that doesn't make it right to a lot of people. So you call out some of the leaders as fake, but how do you know what others are feeling or experiencing? The televangelist leaders are fake. They may be real believers, but they are selling fake prophecies and magic water and cookies and crackers and claiming to make midgets grow. Do you think those things are real, Marlon? I don't. I tithe and give all the time, and God has blessed me miraculous over and over again. I guess you're going to call next fake and pretending to keep your narrative. I think he meant to say, I guess you're going to call me next fake. <laughs> I guess you're going to call me fake next, I guess, is what he meant to say. But, I mean, just because you give money to the church doesn't mean that good things that happen to you are because of that. You're, you're associating causation and correlation. They're, they're not the same. Um... And yeah, I guess I'm going to keep my narrative, whatever that means. Alright. We got a second one from Marlon, and this one got real crazy. 
and all Ponzi schemes, inside trading, Enron, Bernie, I am off with a lot, made off, LOL. Hey, send me $261, and for the rest of your life every day, you will see a $7,000 deposit into your account. Get any telemarketing, foreign companies, billion dollar industry, atheist haters only cry about Christians. There is no bias here. When you devil friends do it all the F and rampant. Can anybody say crypto? How much was that crumble? Pin, drop, proud hands, atheist, grew many kids lately. How much did you fucking drink tonight, Marlon? Because this is incoherent horseshit. I mean, I think what you're trying to say here is it's okay that televangelists rip people off because these other people did something bad. And you say atheist haters only cry about Christians. First of all, I'm not hating on anybody. I'm exposing things that actually happened. I showed the actual videos. Um, it's an atheist channel. What did you think I was going to talk about? It's called the Kentucky Atheist. What did you think I was going to talk about Bernie Madoff? I mean, that, wh why? I don't know what devil friends do it all the F and rampant. I don't know what that means. I guess he's saying atheists are always attacking Christians or something. I'm not here to attack anybody. The crypto thing is nonsense. And then he decides to be a real piece of shit and say, groom any kids lately. Well, Marlon, I think you'll find if you look into the facts that it's actually believers that make up almost 100% of all pedophiles. And you'll find 99% of the prison population is pedophiles as well. Some more interesting facts. Um, it's evangelical families that have uh, pregnant teens and repeat pregnant teens and abortions. You find that all those numbers are much higher among believers than non-believers. So just to be safe, Marlon, you should probably stay away from schools and the computer just for a little while to make sure. Thanks. Asshole. All right, then we got Richard Gray, 8593. He's not judging all of Christianity by these charlatans. He's trying to paint all Christians as being like these charlatans. There's no good intention here. So, how is it not a good intention any time that I expose people scamming other people? And in this case, I'm exposing Christians scamming other Christians. How can you say this? And just to be clear, I'm not judging anybody here. I make no judgment about the people who believe, only the things they believe in. All right. Rohan says, a comedian once said, if they talk to God, why are they only on cable TV? Rohan, I tried to find who said this quote, and I couldn't. So if you happen to come across it, let me know. But I love atheist comedians. George Carlin was great. Ricky Gervais is great. Uh, Stephen Fry does some great stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I love that kind of stuff. Bill Maher, I love Bill Maher. As far as for his comedic work, I don't really like his show anymore. But that's a whole other story. Ryan Ellis 426. Being an atheist, you have no moral standard or compass anyway. So why do you care? Atheists have no moral ethical foundation at all. No, you are atheist because you are your own idol and you hate God. But that don't change the fact you will stand before God beyond Judgment Day. All right, Ron. There, this is kind of complicated here, but I think you tried to make two different arguments in the same sentence, and they're conflicting arguments. You're trying to say that atheists can't have a moral foundation without a God, therefore there is a God. And then you try to say that I believe in God and hate God. Both of these are wrong. Um... I would say that believers have a problem with morals as they think they can commit any act, say sorry to their imaginary friend, and be rewarded for it. Whereas I believe this is the only life you get, and if you do wrong, you should make amends to the person you do wrong to. Uh, I can't hate God and not believe God at the same time, and... As far as standing before God on Judgment Day, that may be so, but it won't be the one of the Bible because he doesn't exist. 
Moving on. Here's another one from Toddy Ho, Bo. The Bible is the only book that will tell the beginning and the present and the future. No other book can do that. God is the creator, the designer. So, so different eyeballs on so many different creatures is not scientific. It's a miracle of creation. Your religion is evolution and you have faith in it. So you are a religious person. I just can't put my trust in people like Charles Darwin, almost as equal as believing Joseph Smith. Well, Joseph Smith got his information from looking into a magic hat. Charles Darwin, on the other hand, observed animals and made scientific observations about the changes between different species of animals and made predictions that if evolution was true would prove those predictions and it in fact did. Um, the Bible is the only book that will tell the beginning, the present, the future. That's your opinion. Uh, God is the creator, your opinion. I don't know what you mean about so many different eyeballs on different creatures. I mean, we keep track of that information. It's not like we rely on people to watch the animals evolve. And the most important part. So, a religion is required to have a god or a deity and religious doctrine and dogma. And faith is believing in something in the face of evidence. Evolution is neither one of those, and I don't believe in evolution, I accept it as fact. Evolution has no gods, it has no doctrines, it's what's observed in the diversity of life today, and I accept it as fact because it is a fact. Michael Gibson, 1232, as a pastor, I can assure you that Jesus is real. Yes, these men are wolves in sheep's clothing, and they will give an account. I pray that you one day find peace and hope in Jesus. Well, that's probably not going to happen, Michael, because I don't believe that Jesus is a supernatural being. And you start your thing off with saying, as a pastor, I can ensure you. Who gives a shit that you're a pastor? Why does that matter? What does you being a pastor make you a expert in? Moving on. This is from Phil V. 2529 I'm going to play devil's advocate here, and this may sound stupid, but I'm dead serious. If people donate to a televangelist thinking they are going to be faith healed, it actually may produce a placebo effect. Well, Phil, I thank you a lot for bringing this up. It's not stupid to say this, but whenever we dig deeper into it, we'll see the problem. So, even if a televangelist takes someone's money, puts his hands on them, tells them they're healed and they go home and they feel great. Even if that happens, it's still wrong to lie to people in order to take their money. That's still wrong. That being said, whenever studies were done on these televangelists by different news organizations and by the great James Randi, they found that they would tell people with cancer they were healed, those people would stop seeking treatment and then their family would be devastated when they died. That's awful. Not only that, but you have people on canes and in wheelchairs. They pretend to heal them. They get up, walk around, and they feel fine then when the endorphins are rushing. But when they go home later or go back to their doctor, it turns out they injured themselves further, which requires more pain and suffering, all for giving a preacher their money and believing in him. Random user says, the Bible tells that in the last days many would turn away from the true faith and with itching ears would turn to those deceivers who tell them what they want to hear, not the true gospel. The Bible calls these men wolves in sheep's clothing who come to cheat and steal. So the reason I bring this comment up is because I had dozens of comments talking about itching ears and widows' sons and all that stuff that relates to this. and. I agree, these guys are wolves in sheep's clothing. The thing that you're not seeing, though, is the Bible allows for this type of interpretation. And these guys believe, even if they're lying, they're bringing people to God, and they will be rewarded for that. Another case of the morals thing, going back to Ryan, by the way. But, just wanted to point that out. What do we got next? Just another excuse to attack Trump. Okay, this video wasn't about Trump. None of my videos are about Trump. 
none of my videos will ever be about Trump. I mentioned Trump in the video because he is a piece of shit. He did try to overthrow our country. He did steal our nation's secrets and appears showed them to people and maybe even sold them to other countries. So, not that I would need an excuse to attack Trump, but that's not what this is about. It's an atheist channel, guys. Alright, up next, we got Fuck YouTube, Fuck Google, V3, I am 943. Kentucky Atheist, your content is hilarious and your voice is super sexy. New subscriber. Well, I guess whatever gets you to subscribe. I'm glad you're enjoying the content and I will let you hear my voice as much as you want to hear it. Um, your name is a little strange, though. Thanks for the comment, though. And that's all the comments I got for you guys today. I just wanted to take a look at a few. I've gotten a lot more, and there seems to be an uptick in Christians commenting on my videos, talking about how these guys are awful and they'll be punished in front of God. There were dozens of comments like this. Why can't we punish them now? Why can't Christians hold them accountable, and that would put an end to this now? rather than waiting on a god to do it and wondering if that happened or didn't. Because by their interpretation of the Bible, they'll be rewarded for this. But I digress. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have lots more content coming from you guys. I've had a few issues I've had to work out with microphones and doing some things here at the house that have put me behind and on top of being slow at editing. We are where we are, but I'm working on it, and I'll get it out to you guys. Um, if you guys want to support the channel, like and subscribe to the video. Maybe click the bell icon. You'll be notified of when I make more stuff. If you want to help out in a more financial way, I'm trying to get people to sign up to my Patreon. Every person that signs up, you'll get to recommend videos that you want. You'll see behind-the-scenes content. I'll send you copies of scripts, outtakes. And you, you also get to see the videos before everyone else. So that's a great bonus there. I also left a link to an Amazon wish list at the bottom in the description. If you want to look at that, you can. If not, I completely understand. It's just something that is recommended to do. So I did it. But I want to thank everybody and have a good one.